going on guys? Welcome to my short tutorial about publishing a React component library to npx. For this tutorial, we'll use TypeScript. Cool. Let's dive in and bootstrap our UI library with create react app. We will also provide TypeScript template option. So project is created in TypeScript. React app is created. I have created a very simple button component. Component takes label as its prop. We can provide a click handler or any other props as well. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we can just stick to providing label only. We will also add some basic styling for our button. Purpose is to demonstrate how we can include SAS files in your NPM UI library. We will export our button from the root of the component folder. It's always a good idea to export component from index file. So importing the component becomes easier and cleaner. We are all set to export our beautiful yet simple button component. Well, probably not that beautiful. Next, we will update the tsconfig file. Target is set to ES5. This is for backward compatibility for the older browsers. Next, we will set the output directory to libesm. Why ESM? Good question. We would like to publish two versions of our library. First one is CommonJS. Mainly node environments will need this. For example, just tests run in node environment. Second one is ECMAScript modules, also known as ESM is the official standard format to package JavaScript. Unfortunately, Node.js supports it. But if you have been in Node.js ecosystem for some time and developing libraries, you probably have encountered the fact that ESM compatibility has been a struggle behind some experimental flags or broken practical usage. Hence, we would like to have a uh, common JS module as well. So Jest will work plus if you want to use it or require it in any other project. So we will have two versions of this TS config, one for common JS and one for ESM. Feel free to put common TS config options into another top level config file, input into ESM and CJS configs. For now, I'll just make another copy of this file and make changes for now. Let's rename it to tsconfig-cjs, also update output directory. We also need to generate typedef file for our module. So all the types are available when it is imported into TypeScript host project. For that, we need to set declaration flag to true. That means TypeScript compiler knows when it finds declaration true, it needs to generate typedef files. Let's also provide a route for the type def files. We only need to include components. And in our case, that's just a button. And rest of React app bits are not required by the library. Remember to exclude node modules. So to TypeScript compiler, don't try to compile those in. We'll copy this file into our tsconfig cjs file, the file which we have for common JS module. Change module type to common JS module. This is pretty much ready now. Actually, let's add another export file uh, at the root of library project. So we can export all the components from one location. This will help host apps to install any components just from library name. Without going to the actual paths, we will re-export our button component from this file. Final step is to get package.json file ready for the publish step. This is a public npm module, so we can change this to false. Otherwise, publishing will fail as you're supposed to have a paid account for private modules. Most companies do have their internal repository set with tools like Artifactory. Let's give some meaningful name to our library and make it scoped to our main repo organization. 
In this case, it would be copy with code. This behaves like a parent module. You can publish more modules to this code. Now we need to tell host application about where to look for ECMAScript version of module. For vit, module property is used. So we set this to lib esm index.js. Let's set location for Chrome and JS as well. Main property is used to get location for Chrome and JS modules. Next, we need to define which files should be included. We provide an array of files. In our case, we'll just provide the lib folder uh, as we just need the lib folder. All the files are generated or copied across to that folder. We are getting close to publishing our library to NPM repo. I promise, just bear with me. We can execute any scripts under a pre-published step. This step is called right before the module is published to NPM. It's the best place to trigger our TypeScript compiler to compile our code, generate type def files, copy or move files, copy SAS files. Let's add another step to compile source code via TypeScript compiler. Also, we can install another helper npm module to copy and move files around. Let's add another step here. We would like to exclude TypeScript files as those are already compiled via TypeScript compiler and generated JavaScript is already in the lib folder. We would also want to clear our lib folder before publishing the module. That will help us to get rid of any outdated files or any deleted assets which we don't require anymore. Let's put all the commands in sequence under TSC command. First, we want to clean lib folder. Next, we will provide TypeScript, both the config files for ESM and common JS module. So it can generate both module types. And lastly, copy all styling files into modules. Before we can publish, we need to log in into NPM repository. Just use NPM login and provide username, email, and password. I'm already logged in, so I'm not gonna go ahead. In case of using Artifactory, you can get those details from your company's internal Artifactory account. Let's run the npm publish command and see what happens. Well, right, no surprise, it's failed. That's a developer's life. Basically, we are publishing our module as scoped module. Scoped modules are treated as private modules by default. We need to run npm publish command with, with access flag set to public. This is to explicitly tell NPM that this scope, uh, this module is still public, but it's scoped. Finally, success. Our module is successfully published to NPM repository. We can double check what has been published by going into lib folder. We can see CGS and ESM both modules. Type declaration file is there as well. Button component in common JS module. Cool, we are all set to install our newly published beautiful component into some host app. Let's go ahead and install into a test app. I've already got a test app here. So I'm gonna import button from our React.ts library package. Provide a button label here. And let's test it by running npm run to run the application. There we go, our super simple button is rendered. That is all for now, folks. Please do like, subscribe, and comment. Leave any questions if you have uh, in the comment section.